need to taste it. Oh yeah, it look like somebody uh tried to be nosy, open up our box, see what's in it. They wrong for that. We're gonna tell y'all all about it. bring attention to black owned businesses. In this particular episode, we ordered some some exotic fruits from the tropics from a company called Fruits and Roots, which is a black owned company. And we wanted to unbox um, the fruit. And so I'm just gonna be honest with you all, I actually opened the box before we did the video because I already knew I wasn't gonna know what any of the fruit were. So I opened the box and I did some research, I looked up pictures, um, I thought it was gonna come with a list but it, or you know something that identified the fruit but it didn't. And so I had to do some research. I think I found out what most of the fruit were but there are still a couple that I don't know what they are. So come on, let me show you guys what came in the box. Uh, we ordered the medium box of the sweet fruit. Um, and so we'll include the tag to their website in the description. And the box was $90. It came with a lot of fruit. Um, that's a lot for fruit, more than what we pay here in the United States. But it's worth paying for to try it and um, just to do something different, try something different and see how much better the fruit is because we follow Fruits and Roots on Instagram and they're always um, cutting fruit and eating it and tasting it. It's always look really good. This, the fruit came in these nice little sleeves. I think this is pretty cool. Covers the fruit. And this first fruit is, do y'all know what this is? Um, this is a dragon fruit. This is actually a yellow dragon fruit. There are also some pink dragon fruit as well. Um, this came ripe, so it's ready to eat. And it's already really soft, so we're gonna eat this immediately. We also got a bunch of these little small bananas. These are really, really small. Um, I don't know if these are a special type of banana or if they're just regular bananas. Um, I'm curious to see if they take like the bananas that we eat here in the United States that we get out of our grocery store. So definitely check out um, our videos that we'll have on us tasting the fruit. Then we got these. We got a bunch of these little fruit. Now these don't even look like fruit. They look like little critters. Um, have hair coming out. It's a pretty color though. Um, and these are actually called rambutan. Rambutan. I might be saying it wrong. Y'all can give me in the comments if I'm saying it wrong. Tell me how to pronounce it, but my best guess is Rambut Rambutan. And um, we got a lot of these. Now these didn't come in the sleeve. These were just out open. We also got this fruit. It looks like a green tomato. And I looked this one up and this one is called a black sapote. And it's really, really green now. It's not ripe. Uh, the instructions did tell us to let this sit for a few days and it should be right when it gets really soft. Right now it's really firm. And also when it begins to change colors. So right now it's not right. So we'll have to let this one sit for a few days before we can eat it. And based on my research, this is supposed to be like a, some type of fruit that tastes like pudding. So I'm curious to see what that tastes like as well. We also got this fruit. Now, it looks like a potato. If you ask me, it even feel like a potato. The skin, it's a little rough like a potato. My best guess for this fruit after doing some research is that this is called a sapodilla, sapodilla, uh, also known as a nays fruit, I think, something similar to that. Again, correct me if I'm wrong, but that is my best guess for this one. This is a sapodilla. I believe this is an egg fruit. This is called an egg fruit, and this one is also not ripe. Again, when I looked up egg fruit, it said it doesn't come ripe. You have to let it sit for a few days and let it get really, really soft. So that is my best guess for this fruit. Now this fruit, <laughs> when I looked at it, I thought it was a lime. It looks like lime. We got a few of these. Looks like small limes. And um, I'm still not sure what this is. I don't know if it's guava. Um, guava is my best guess. I don't know, it looks like a lime, let's see. Can y'all tell me what this is? Y'all can hear my babies in the background. Then we got this fruit. When I first looked at it, it almost looked like a coconut. Then at least I was like, no, it's not a coconut. I shook it up, you know, sometimes you can hear. But after doing some research, I believe this is what they call a mame. 
M-A-M-E-Y, Mame. And um, it also doesn't come right. You have to let it sit for a few days. And we'll try it when it gets right. All right, this fruit, you guys, I still don't know what this is. I don't know if this is also an eggplant. It looks like the one, or egg fruit. It looks like this fruit, which I said was an egg fruit. But then it's not exactly like this fruit. It's shaped a little different. So I have no clue what this is. So y'all, please let me know what kind of fruit this is. I almost look like a pepper. And it's very firm. All right, and then the very last fruit that we got is this. Okay, I don't know what this is either. Uh, my first guess was mango, but I've never seen a mango this big. Um, also, so we got these yesterday. It was a little bit greener yesterday. It has also already started to change colors. So I'm guessing mango. Do y'all think this is a mango? It's pretty big. It gets bigger than my hands. So it is a pretty big fruit. Again, I'll have a better idea once we cut it open. But just by looking at it, I don't know what it is. So, we got a lot of fruit. Um, it came, we got the medium box again. It came with a lot of fruit. Um, I'm curious to try it. Me and my husband and my boys are gonna try it. So we're gonna make a video of us trying it. So y'all make sure y'all check out those videos. Um, we'll let you know if they're good or not. But in the meantime, make sure you go support Fruits and Roots. Again, it's a black owned business. They provide fruits from the tropics. Also, they give uh, for special causes for helping children in Africa and Jamaica. So they really have a um, um, uh, charity effort as well. So make sure you support them. Make sure you subscribe to our channel, Greenwood Ave. If you haven't already and if you like this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up. And follow us on IG at Greenwood Ave 1921. Again, also check out the next video. Watch us taste these, okay? So in this one, I was just showing you what all came in the box. But now make sure you go and watch us tasting these different fruits. Thanks for tuning in. Hey, we appreciate y'all tuning in to Greenwood Ave. If you enjoyed this episode and you want to see more, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Be sure to click that bell as well so you can be the first one to be notified whenever we drop a new episode every Monday and Thursday. And also, be sure to check out our previous episodes like the Studio B Art Gallery and the Buttermilk Drop Bakery.